with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. I tell you what, if India could sort its shit out and if there wasn't so much fucking corruption, this country could fucking dominate. Not the Olympics, education. The kids here are so far ahead of just about anyone except China. So my wife is tutoring a couple of the young sort of poor kids in the area because they need to get into some government school and they need to pass a test to get a scholarship into an Indian public school. That's what I'm talking about there. I don't know how much the fees are to an Indian public school, but it'd be around about a coffee a semester, I think. But you know, if you don't have the money for coffee, you're not getting fucking coffee, are you? Most poor kids in this country don't even get the opportunity to go to school. They just get straight to work. They get on the fucking plow at like nine years old. They start mixing mud and they're on the fucking site. They're doing their job. So you kind of want to make it to school. So I'm upstairs and my wife's in the study and I hear her explaining some shit in a different language to these kids. And I'm like, all right, I might just mosey on down, see if I can lend a hand in there. You know, give a few pointers, be a little bit of an inspiration to the younger generation. You know what I mean, a little bit more humanitarian work. So I get down there and my wife's teaching this kid and I get in there and I'm like, so uh, is there anything a white guy can do around here? A little bit of inspiration just seeing me down here? Would you like to borrow my aura? And my wife's like, I'm just testing him at the moment. He's got a test coming up. He needs to pass the test to get into this school. I'm like, no worries, just pretend I'm not here. If I see any problems, I'll point them out and I'll just impart some knowledge where I see fit. I'll just be in the background observing, guiding. So I'm standing there and I'm expecting like cat, how do you spell cat, C-A-T, maybe not that lower level, but like house and shit like that. All the times tables, he's a 10-year-old kid. I remember when I was 10 years old, Mrs. Ball gave me a stuffed little piggy because I got seven times three right. 21. Still know it. So the first question my wife asked this kid while I'm standing there, this 10-year-old fucking kid, was, what are the properties of matter? I'm like, hold on, what? What are the what? The properties of matter? What do you mean by matter? Things? Is it atoms? What the, what is the property of matter? That's what I said. I'm like, hold on a second. Give us a look at that book. And the only reason I even remember that question is because I took a photo of the fucking notebook so I'd be able to say it on the podcast because I knew I wouldn't even remember that question. I'm like, give me that notebook. Is that actually the question? And she hands it to me and I'm like, what are the properties of matter? And I'm like, what is matter? Is it like atoms? Is that what you're talking about? Is matter atoms? And then the kid pipes up and he's like, matter occupies space and matter has mass. And I'm like, I just heard you answer that question and I still don't know what the properties of matter is. That was never in my head. That didn't even jog my memory. That didn't trigger anything in my brain. That is completely new information to me. And I'm like, hold on a second. What school are you trying to get into? Are you trying to get into university? Are you a 10-year-old trying to get into university? Is that what's happening here? And no, he's not. He's just trying to get into year seven at a government school in India. He's just trying not to lay bricks. So I'm standing there now and I'm starting to get a little self-conscious of my stupidity because he's answering that and then my wife's explaining it to him and my wife knows what she's talking about. And not only that, she's explaining it to him in another language. Her English is better than mine and she's explaining this in a different language to this kid. And I'm standing there and I'm starting to feel real like dumb. So I'm like, hey babe, um, my last Instagram post got like 33 likes. I think it's really building. I think people are starting to jump on board. And she's like, that's so good. I'm so proud of you. I'm like, thanks miss. So I'm just standing there now in shock. I'm quiet now because I don't want this kid asking me questions either. I hate it when fucking 10-year-olds know way more than you do. So I'm quiet, and then the next question comes up. The next question was, define sublimation. And I'm like, well, it's hard to define a word you've only just heard for the first fucking time ever. Sublimation? 
Has it got something to do with like sending subliminal messages like the Beatles did on the White Album or whatever the fuck it was where you play it backwards and you kill your whole family like that sort of subliminal message? Is that sublimation? I don't know what the fuck's going on. That is the first time I've ever heard what sublimation is. And again, the kid answers the question. He's like, sublimation is the transition of a substance directly from the solid to the gas state without passing through the liquid state. And I'm like, what? And again, the only reason I can even repeat that is because I took a photo of his notebook to remember. I would not even remember that word. I won't remember it tomorrow. Both those questions were missing from my hard drive. Both those questions, you could have been holding a gun to every single member of my family, extended family, friends, everyone, and said, even just answer one of these questions, everyone's dead. I wouldn't even be able to do that fake like, ooh, ooh, like that fake, ooh, I've heard that before. I just can't remember it. I wouldn't even be able to do that. It's just clear blank, no, nothing. And this 10-year-old like street kid is just answering this fucking shit. He's not the best of the best either. He's just some kid trying to get into a government school for free. But what these kids are learning at this age is so fucking far ahead of what we're doing because my wife's tutored in Australia as well. For kids the same age too. The elite as well because only the elite kids get fucking tutors. And those kids back in Australia were lucky to be able to do their times tables with a fucking calculator. So we're fucked. We're doomed. Start an Instagram account. Get your tits out. Make an OnlyFans page. Do what you need to do. Because it's over. We don't need to worry about AI because we're already fucking finished. And so am I for tonight. That's it for tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around with your friends. Hit me up on social media. I'm Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see ya the fuck later.